Good evening, everybody. Welcome to News by Muse, your best informative and entertainment show ever. Now, I have some exciting and interesting news for you. Follow Muse Africa on our Instagram page, muse.africa. And we promise to select the 50th, 80th, and 90th person, uh, persons out of the 100 that is going to follow us. Okay, so first 100 to follow, we're going to select 50th, 80th, and 90th persons who follow us out of random we're not going to select bias in a bias way okay it's going to be a very random pick and we have gifts for you selected gifts beautiful gifts for you so just do this for us and i'm going to give you a personal gift aside from what muse africa has for you your honorable tip mistress is going to give you a personal gift as well so we're going to jump straight into business as usual but first of all let's find out quickly the headlines that are making waves on the internet right now afterwards you're going to listen to an amazing tune by tisha 630 enjoy All right, so away from that and straight into some political news, the governing New Patriotic Party, NPP, has announced that they are set to launch their manifesto this coming August 22, 2020. Now, the General Secretary of the party, John Buedu, says that the drafted manifesto was supervised by the Vice President, Dr. Mahmoudou Baomir, and they're also saying that the President has fulfilled most of the promises that he um, read out to, during the 2016 manifesto reading. So this year's manifesto too, too, they have certain key elements that's going to consolidate Ghana's development. So we're looking forward to whatever is in this draft, drafted manifesto coming August 22. All right, guys, so still on politics, an incident happened on Saturday, NDC and NPP clash. Where, um, which resulted in the death of one person and two people were injured. We had a motorbike being bent, a pickup car being bent into flames, and you could see the flames. It was quite horrible. It was, there was a clash between these two, but then I hear was just a little bit away, about 500 meters away from the registration center. Now, this is the development of the story. story. The police have arrested three suspects, namely Ali Musa, who is 33, we have Ib Ibrahim Aqua, who is 33, and we have we also have Amos Enying, who is the oldest, 38. <laughs> I don't know why I said the oldest, but I'm only trying to say that <laughs> he should have known better. But then, this is what this is the development of the story, and he's been arrested. So I really hope that the police does the investigations proper, so we know who and who in capital letters not World Health Organization who. I mean, who is behind this? All right, so away from politics and onto some educational news. We all know that every religion has its beliefs, Christian, Muslim, traditionalist alike. Now, this student, who is a final year student, has refused, or should I say refused on Saturday, to partake in the Wasi exams that took place. Why? Because he has to observe the Sabbath. Now, I say Saturday and I'm saying that he has to observe the Sabbath. So most of you already know that Adventists observe the Sabbath and keep it holy on Saturday. That is their belief. So on Asempa FM, this is what he says. Yes, I did not write it. It was a santi tree and I refused to write the paper because I believe in my beliefs. My church has beliefs and I am sticking to it. Our church petitioned the president, but the petition was not agreed upon. For now, I can't write a santi tree and if I will have to write the paper, it would have to be North Dick. He's also saying that he's not discriminating against the paper, but then even if it was called mathematics, integrated science or social studies he still wouldn't have written the paper because he believes in his belief by observing the sabbath on saturday and some people are even saying that hey brother will life now did you go sano but he's also saying that he has no dick to rely on so guys what's your problem so that's what this guy is saying 
All right. So in the wake of this deadly pandemic, a lot of schools are not, a lot of children or students are not going to school. However, the schools have put in place measures for them to study. So they're taking part in online classes on Zoom and so on. Now, various schools are even partaking in examinations. Hence, they have to pay school fees. Now, the Morning Star School at Osu demanded that parents pay the third term school fees of the wards. Well, they're still agitated, although there's a discount of 125 cities. But then it looks like the fees, you know, because 2,500, they're in a form, considering it's online, okay? And these parents are even buying data for their war too, guys. So in, in one of the um, statements, this is what the PTA says, petition, sorry. The online service engagement or service being rendered is not compulsory until mutually an emphasis on mutually agreed by management and parents. They also added that management and parents need to discuss and agree on the modalities and quality of the proposed online services. So, I mean, I think Morningstar School is not the only school that is going through something of this sort. Other parents are complaining from various other schools. So still on education, we cannot dispute the fact that technology has come to our aid in so many ways. People are using this positively to boost their business, to help their academics and so on, whilst others are using this negatively. Now, in the wake of this COVID-19 pandemic, we all realized that these students couldn't go to school. WASI candidates were asked to return to school and embark on their classes and finally take part in the exams, as announced by the president in one of his addresses. Now, following the recent happenings of vandalism and uncouth behaviors, the president or executive direct, director sorry, of IFEST, Peter Anti, is saying that techno technology must be regulated in all schools to prevent abuse, despite the fact that it has come to our aid positively. So he also mentions that we cannot rule out the role of technology in our education system, of course, like I said, especially at this time that we've seen that there is a challenge with continuing physical education and therefore students will have to continue education online, as I said, in the wake of this deadly pandemic. So we have to resort to online studies. However, in as much as we would want to allow students to use these gadgets on campus, it must come with a requisite restriction and of course, we need to make sure that they do not abuse its use. So um, this is for everybody who is watching this. I mean, you might be a parent watching this. You might be um, a big sister or a big brother. You might want to regulate the use of technology from anybody that you are parenting or taking care of to ensure that they do not go astray. All right, guys, so away from entertainment and straight into some business and financial and shika money, money matters. Not me, shika. I mean, Lajan shika. CD is expected to end 2020 with less than 5% depreciation to dollar. Now, this will be better than the 8.33 loss over the same period last year. So I think this is some good news for us, okay? Okay, so there have been rumors that the Ghana Airports Company Limited is for sale and they're about to embark on a partnership with a Turkish Turkish conglomerate, Taf Suma. Now, in an interview granted by the former president and flag bearer of the NDC, John Dramani Mahama on Wazer TV, he stated some claims. Now, KIA GACL is saying that all these claims are incorrect or maybe some. So one of the first claims is he, the, pres, the former president says that an investment of about almost $600 million was done in that airport, which is KIA, as I mentioned. And GACL is saying that the claim that the investment of $600 was made on KIA is incorrect. The amount may be in reference to funding of projects in all airports, including 130 million runaway projects at the Tamale Airport and 25 million dollars new new airports in Ho. Now he also mentioned that um, they talk about not being able to service the loans that were taken to develop the airport. This is one of the things that he said in the interview. But then GACL reacted and says that this claim is also incorrect. Now he's saying that um, the claim that GACL has been has 
been unable to service the syndicated loan facility is untrue. To date, GACL has met its repayment obligations under the loan facility. So these are a few of the things that GACL reacted to with regards to the interview that the former president granted on Wazer TV. It appears that some of the claims are incorrect. So we've talked politics, we've done some education and some business and financial she cut news. Now onto some news from the health sector. The Mental and Dental Council have arrested two physicians, two fake physicians, emphasis on fake, at the Tamale Technical University Hospital and the Good Morning Clinic at Adentan in Accra. Now, the st a statement stated that on Monday, July 27, 2020, the team visited the Lothian re region at including the Tamale Technical University Hospital. Now, during investigations, it's it noted that one Abdullah Abubakar Sadiq, the clinical care coordinator of the facility, is a fake or unregistered physician assistant. Now, this sus suspect claims to have graduated with a BSc certificate in physician assistantship from the Central University College in Accra in July 2015 and has since been employed at the Tamale Technical University and he has been a physician assistant till date but it, it appears that he has been caught you can always run but you wouldn't hide but this one is not even a case of you can always run but even hide every day for the thief one day for the master all right, taking a minute. I know you missed it yesterday, so I'm going to give it to you today. So first up, SpaceX is using a $75,000 robot and dog named Zeus to test Mars-bound Starship rockets. Carmi Pao. Now, secondly, Samsung unveils five new power devices in Galaxy ecosystem to empower customers' work and play. Finally. Android TV gets Google Play instant support to let users try apps without installing. So that was quick and fast as promised. I hope you enjoyed that tech in a minute segment. Now onto some sports news. Atletico Madrid has suspended training ahead of Champions League trip due to COVID-19 cases. This COVID-19, they are best there, dear power, but then we are higher than you. We are higher than you. This is a prophecy from your honorable tip mistress. Now, the Europa um, finals have, quarterfinals have kicked up. Champions League quarterfinals have, have kicked up. Pray for your teams, guys. Manchester United is the best. I'm saying this now. I'll say it forever. If you don't understand, don't you, don't you COVID-19. <laughs> Entertainment news in a bit. All right, you're welcome back from the break. I hope you enjoyed that lovely tune from Alma Slay. Yeah. Ice cream. You have to give us a piece before you go. Girl, you are my ah. ice cream. <laughs> ice cream. And of course, Tilia Kia is here with the best entertainment gist mm -hmm. you have heard this week so far. Because I'm not going to say the entire week. Because when she comes tomorrow and Friday, it's going to be better. Yeah, oh, this definitely. Is, oh. Exactly. <laughs> welcome to the show, though. You didn't say exhilarating. What happened? Oh. Oh, I'm keeping it for the end of the show. Okay. <laughs> so I think we'll just go straight to Agunas Redro. Yeah. Where a video of Patapa was <laughs> circulating. He didn't look good at all. So a video of Patapa was circulating and he was unconscious or he looked unconscious. Yeah. And according to the commentary that was running under the video, Patapa was admitted in the hospital because he was poisoned mm -hmm. at a bar in Agunas Redro. I'm sure you haven't seen the video now. So not long, I think less than a day, his management, they dropped a press release that is asking the public to disregard the message that he was poisoned. Mm -hmm. However, they agree that he's sick and has been hospitalized, yeah. but it's not because he was poisoned. But glory be to God, he is in the recovery state and yeah. we are all praying that our one corner and scope to my <laughs> makes it and comes to give us another banger. Put yeah. He comes to release but, the Putu <clears throat> remix for us. What's wrong with you? What? <laughs> but anyway, I mean, what coined such rumors? Poison. And I honestly, I feel like when people say things like this, it means there's an iota of truth in there. So they can't just 
stand up and say that he was poisoned and but well they can human being their mind tries to fill the potholes yeah i mean looking at him we didn't hear that he was sick all of a sudden he and looks unconscious on a bed why didn't they say it was covered that is even more dangerous than <laughs> well i don't think he wants to be associated yeah. with that yeah Okay, so we thank God for Papa as well. Yes, we thank and God. We pray that nobody poisons him. Our school part to Yeah. <laughs> okay, so to my next story. Mm -hmm. Now, there's something happening on social media. Yeah. That's with two of our male artists, Bisake Day and Stoneboy. Stoneboy. They are trying to let the fans see what they go through during the creative process of their music. Now, we're going to start with Bisake Day. You know, Bisake Day has hit songs upon his song, Mansa, Brody, Brody, yeah. and all the fun songs that yeah. we love. Not we used to. If you say used to, I have a problem with you. <laughs> we love, but the song is still hit yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. When you play it, it still feels current. Yeah. Like so. Bisake Day dropped the video, and according to him, when he's making songs, he has apps helping him. It's not just um, that kind of solitude or solace only you and god and your mind no when he's looking for a word let's say peace yeah he search for it and then get a word that rhymes with it a word like they don't put you on your toes if you're looking for peace what word rhymes with peace ah start again peace please cease cheese is kiss let's go. <laughs> let's watch mr kd's creative process <laughs> That'd be hard to do up sometimes. I just go online. You know, sometimes you need the internet to make your work easier. I just go on the internet and look for something where it will make a, you know, uh, a rhyme properly. Let's say I want to write a song starting with pieces. So I just go online. And then boom. If I want to, hey, I don't got to be kind of I feel like I'm broken down in pieces. I feel my heart in here that needs stitches. Maybe pray to Jesus. If you're catching the vibe, pray for me. Something great about to happen. Okay there. So he didn't just drop this video. He wants us to wait for something big that is coming. Yeah. And for me, I can't wait. Yeah, I mean, as a, day. likewise, I yeah. mean, that's Bisake Day. Okay, so let's move straight to Stoneboy. Mm -hmm. Now, Stoneboy is saying that work it's an asset and, and hype is liability so he dropped the video yeah. where he was his creative process mike no i don't know so the question you know. hey, it's not easy. Uh, no, <laughs> no, 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 yeah uh, artists are suffering <laughs> why when you tell an artist your music is not good they want to beat you please let's appreciate them they are going through a lot yeah let's watch some boys video too So the caption I read, which is work is assets and hype is liability from Stoneboy. Mm -hmm. And lots of people have deciphered it in their own way. way. They are trying to get it. You know, Stoneboy is very deep. Yeah, very, it's very really deep. Very like deep. me. Nah, like Adam. I think the only artist like that me. has that kind of depth is Adam. Adam is also very deep. Yeah. 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 Yes. So, um, Muse Africa, you know, who shall brace yeah, yeah, yeah. somebody in Muse Africa. Uh, the person I don't want to mention anyone, like, I think you should just go to the website, yeah. museafrica.com, and go and find out what these words from Stoneboy mean. Yeah. And then probably it could. We have broken it down yeah. into bits yeah. for you to understand. Yeah. Explain it. Yeah. So, it could actually let you know the next direction Stoneboy is headed. Yeah. Now, um, but wait, wait. How what do you understand by what he said? Well, as I said, it's on Muse Africa. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you dodging no, the question. No, I'm not going to let them. Wow. No, you see, I write for Muse Africa. Uh -huh. I need you to go to the website. I'm not going to spoon feed you here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I'm done with the stories, but there's something big happening okay. for I mean Muse Africa and yeah. God One Records mm -hmm. and Kofi Jama. Mm -hmm. Yes, Kofi Jama has been nominated in the VGMA yeah. and sank category. Mm -hmm. You have to vote for Kofi Jama. Yeah. Do they vote for that category at all? Yes. 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 Vote for Kofi Jama. You it's very see? necessary. Like they have to. See, I can't stress on it enough. Kofi Jama votes. Let me do you the honest. This is Kofi Jama's body body. <laughs> so if you don't, Tilly will stop coming here. And, and the way you guys have been giving me feedback about Tilly, 
please vote for her body body. Yes, so that's all. Na yeni nam sade ma. Okay, so I'm done. That's it. Oh, but today, I mean, it's like who who content more? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm in a hurry. So okay. Where I was with Kofi Jama. Social media handles though. Yeah, I keep forgetting. Yeah. Till a key new power on all social mm -hmm. media platforms. When you follow, I'll follow back. Yeah, she will. Trust me. She will follow back. I hope you enjoyed Tilly's segment and hope to see you on the next episode. You didn't say exhilarating. Thanks for tuning in to Exhilarating and Exciting Time with Tilly Ikianupa. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, so that was some exciting entertainment time with Tilly. I'm going to be back on your screens tomorrow with Big Talk. Yabwedu Ayabwafo Jr., popularly known by many as NYB, who is the music lead for Tunes by Muse, is going to take you through that intensive discussion. It's, going to, it's a surprise, the person that he's going to be interviewing. So stay tuned for that tomorrow. Now, if you happen to miss this show or want to watch it again, you can follow us and watch it on YouTube, sorry, Muse Africa's channel on YouTube. Subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification button follow Muse Africa on all of our social media platforms now this is some amazing news for all of you Muse media networks and Muse Africa news by Muse aficionados this announcement for you now you can follow us on Instagram it's muse.africa the first hundred people that are going to follow we are going to select the 50th 80th and 90th followers for a very beautiful gift prepared by Muse Africa and as I mentioned at the beginning of the show I have a personal gift for you if you are the 50th 80th or 90th person to follow for all you know you might even get a chance to sit on the show with me I love you do this for me and I'm going to give you a gift good evening <laughs>